Every year, the North Carolina Division of Air Quality invites seventh grade students to participate in the AQIQ contest. The AQIQ contests give students a chance to create a project that highlights an air quality issue and provides a solution to that issue. The projects can be a poster, an artistic project, a video, or a game. It also helps students with leadership skills, public speaking, creativity, and science literacy. Check out what these teachers have to say about their experiences with the AQIQ contest. So I've had whole classes and then small groups um, jump into participating in the air quality IQ contest. Uh, they've created all different kinds of projects to try to teach themselves and other people about um, air, the air quality index, about importantly open burning. Um, one is the flexibility, the variety. They get to choose from making games or something artistic or a poster. You know, they have all of these different choices so whatever their strengths are, they can play on those strengths as they learn about the air quality. And so each one gets to shine in their own way and that's what I really like about it. Well. Every day I see the one that I, I had two students and again they were both students who actually were doing very poorly in science. But when this project came they just stepped it up. They were both very creative, they were excited, they got all the information and they created a painting that after they won and they did end up placing in state, they gave me the painting so I could have it in my room. and. Um, that it reminds me every day just how certain projects can affect kids. So that, that one I remember quite a bit. Um, ones that stick out in my mind are the ones that the kids will take home, they'll do the research, they'll be so excited and then they're making videos, they're making rap songs, they're, you know, something that's kind of outside of the norm in the classroom. Those are the things that I remember um, most, to see that side of them that they usually might not show or be um, brave enough to show, I guess, and this kind of pulls that out of them. After creating your project, you need to register it and submit it. Please visit the link shown on this slide. To submit your project, go to your local air quality office. You can find your local office on the air quality webpage. Make sure your project has a registration form attached to it. Remember, all projects are due February 22nd through March 2nd. We can't wait to see what you've created. And if you have any questions, you can contact Keith Bamberger or Aditi Chakravarti.